Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in the Park Village neighborhood, which is over kind of on the east side of San Antonio, located off of Loop 410 between Riddiman and Eisenhower. This is 5158 Village Way. That's 5158 Village Way. It's a three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 1,667 square feet. It was built in 1967. So it's on a good sized lot. It's about an 8,200 square foot lot and it's about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal. So one thing you'll notice is they did convert the garage, but they constructed this really nice double carport here. It's made out of metal, so that's very durable. Exterior-wise on this home, it's a combination of brick and the old asbestos siding. And it's actually, exterior-wise, is in really good condition. I really like the architecture of this front two large windows here. Very stylistic of the late 60s, early 70s. You have like a little covered porch area here. You have these shrubs that give you a little bit of privacy. So there's several shrubs around the home that give you some privacy. Now you may want to work on this little piece here. It looks like a little water line, but it could stand to be addressed. And it looks like they actually replaced the uh, asbestos siding with hardy plank here, which is nice because it's more durable. This piece here, however, is a piece of the old kind of composite wood and you can see how at the bottom when it gets wet it does tend to kind of blister so you probably would want to consider replacing that with hardy plank just like here to be uniform. Let's take a look at the backyard. We have access to the backyard off of a sliding glass door in the dining room and in the backyard here they did construct a really nice uh, covered area. A little storage shed there. And you can see that there are a few storage sheds in the back here. There is an alley behind the home, so you do have a little bit of privacy back there. Might want to work on this gate. So a couple of storage shed structures. And then they have this odd fence here for some reason. But exterior-wise in pretty decent condition. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, when we step in, we are in this little hallway here, and you're going to notice that most of the home, all of the home, actually needs flooring throughout, and it's going to need painting throughout. That's the majority of what it's going to need is cosmetic work. We turn to the right here, we have your main living room, or your family room, and as you can see, like I said from the outside, I really love the architecture of the 60s here, kind of a low pitch in the living room. You have these windows that give you a lot of natural lighting in this room. So this room's going to need painting, and it's going to need flooring, which is pretty minor. We make our way over to the garage. Now one thing about the garage, it has been converted into an additional bedroom. So the garage is bedroom number one that has cheap flooring. You're going to want to replace that. In the garage you actually have your washer and dryer connections. There are a few holes here so you want to patch that. But a neat thing that they did is they put a full bathroom in the garage. This could really be like a master bedroom. The bathroom here has a shower and tub combo. It is missing a sink. So you want to put that in and maybe try to consider putting a window in there just to give it a little more lighting. Your master closet is here which they also constructed at the back end of the garage. Now down this hallway here to the right we have your kitchen. Decent amount of countertop space and cabinet space for a kitchen of this year. It is missing the oven and the refrigerator. It is set up for a gas range which is nice. I like the little backsplash, it's not a bad addition. Your refrigerator will go here, it is missing the flooring but you're going to want to put in flooring and you might be able to salvage the counters and the cabinets in here maybe just repaint them obviously you could always redo them if you want now if we look up at the ceiling here there is a little bit of a line there it could be condensation maybe from the AC vent uh, you want to have that looked at and then off of the kitchen we have your dining room dining room has access into your backyard with those sliding glass doors but it's not a huge dining room but it's going to need flooring and it's going to need painting we come through this doorway here and that's where we have that entry way here now if we come through here, we have bathroom number two. Bathroom number two looks like they started to remodel it. They never finished it, but they put in a shower and tub combo that you're gonna to need to finish, as well as a commode and a sink. And that's good, because they kind of did the work for you. You just have to finish it out, so that's not a bad thing. 
We have bedroom number two here. Bedroom number two is going to need a fresh coat of paint and it's going to need some flooring. You can see. And then bedroom number three. So bedroom number three is interesting. It's going to need a door because a door, the door is busted there. And uh, here's a big walk-in closet with some built-ins. And it looks like bedroom number three actually was an addition. If we look at the cement here, you can see that it looks like they poured a slab back here because this, was, this, this uh, line here was probably the end of the home. So they made this big potential third bedroom with the fireplace. It also has access to getting into the backyard. Now you could keep this as a fireplace or you could use this as an additional bedroom. If you did use it as an additional bedroom, then you're only going to have a two bedroom home. Or this could be like a master bedroom, you just don't have your master bath off of it. It's going to need painting and it's going to need flooring. And there's a tiny bit of settling, but it actually doesn't feel that bad. You can see the settling there, but it's pretty minor. And then there's a, another closet here. That's going to need some painting and some flooring. So that's about it. As I said, guys, this home is about $10,000 underneath the county appraisal. They are doing a zero down payment in this area if you're interested in it. And you could probably own this home for about $900, $950 a month. Let me give you a summary. Well, there it is, 5158 Village Way. That's 5158 Village Way. A nice three-bedroom, two-bath home. It has been modified, as you saw. The garage has been converted, and they added that addition onto the other potential third bedroom. But it has a lot of space, and I think there's a ton of potential here. This home is listed right now for only $105,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.